Well, our focus on food in the suburbs continues this morning in Richfield. Lynn 65 opened three years ago, and knowing how good it is today, you might be surprised to learn what a train wreck it was at first in Derusha Eats. Look at this. There you go. Lynn 65 is far from the typical suburban restaurant. It takes three days to make Thanks this. Thanks to Chef Ben Reed. But it's fast to them. To and ever. that's all I yeah. care about. I'd never cooked a cheeseburger in a restaurant before. I, was, I come from a fine dining background. Ben learned at restaurant Alma, working with James Beard Award winning. This is a service kitchen. Legendary chef Alex Roberts. And, and that's almost how you When he opened Lynn 65 in 2014, yeah. this burger was so fancy it probably should have cost 22 bucks. When we opened, we were roasting our cheeseburgers on the, on the flat top and then resting them in burr, like butter sauce thinking that that's the thing you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ben had a lot to learn about a yeah, suburban yeah, restaurant. Yeah. He did grow up in the suburbs, Lakeville. Lynn is designed to be a neighborhood spot. But that road to open was rocky, to say the least. When we opened Lynn 65, we had $3,000 left in the bank. So for working capital. That was it? Yeah, we hadn't purchased any of our opening inventories. We hadn't purchased any of our small wares. So we were actually in the red about $100,000. When we opened, it was busy and they were selling lots of food, but they weren't really making much profit. Ingredients in were costing about 44 cents on the dollar. 30 cents is more the average. I've never made fried chicken in a restaurant either. When we opened, we were dry curing our chicken, confeeing it in duck fat, doing all these super expensive things, and then charging three bucks a piece for it. But the neighborhood took ownership of this ragtag underdog operation, and while the team figured out business, the customers kept coming back. It's in a strip mall. And you see the word look on all of our faces, and, and, and then all of a sudden the food is usually pretty good. I think that there was a, a, a nice little response to that. Today, the burger isn't quite as fancy, but it sure is delicious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you love using this oven. Don't oh, yeah. You? Yeah, it's like a super speed, just makes everything go faster. Burgers, pizza, chicken make up 70% of sales. You know, I wanted to have something to say. And then it was fried chicken and burgers. But that revenue lets Ben make a mind-blowingly good hummus dish with veal ragu, chili oil, arugula. And look at this Thai-influenced braised short rib. Crazy value for under 30 bucks. To me, this is the most satisfying thing I've ever done. I don't have to wash dishes every day anymore. <laughs> That is good news. He doesn't have to wash dishes. It was rough there at the beginning. People think if you have a, a restaurant and there are people in there eating, it's jam-packed. You think, man, they're really hitting it. They weren't. <laughs> like, they were not. They uh, said it took about six months until they really Scary. got into it and figured it out. Yeah, um, you never know when you open a restaurant if it's going to take or not. And to be in the red $100,000 and just hope it works out. Yeah. Wow. And it has. They've figured it out. The food has been great there from the beginning. It's still fantastic. They have a wonderful, wonderful cocktails. Great. As mm -hmm. you know, I know you did a story on their bar, didn't you? A couple. One yeah. of the best. Like, totally surprised me. One of the best. Strip mall in Richfield. Yep. Wow. It's really, really good. They're open for dinner seven days a week, dinner only, and they have brunch on the weekend. Uh, a new restaurant coming to northeast Minneapolis from them as well. So watch for that.